Welcome back to APP 2015. I'm talking to Rob Starr, a pharmacist and the founder of PharmActive. Welcome, Rob. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me. Now, your tagline, I'll just read this. Your tagline says, you create remarkable pharmacy experiences by leveraging smart technology. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. No, I'm glad you asked. Look, um, it's a real opportunity. There's never been a better time to leverage technology in a pharmacy business. You know, too often we've looked at technology and thought it has to be dispensed, pause, but there's so many particular applications around cloud and so forth that really leverage the power of cloud and small business and you can really leverage a lot of that for your business to be able to create better experiences because every technology should be indistinguishable from the patient experience and really about getting closer to our patients. And with PharmActive, I mean, you, you, you're getting quite a name with your podcasts and your other you know, innovative technology approaches to getting out there to pharmacy. How's, how's it going? Yeah, look, really good. Look, um, launched the 12-month uh, program, which is really the signature. Um, but ultimately, most conversations start with pharmacy owners where they just want to learn what opportunities are available. And I've developed a test called the Pharmacy Freedom Index, which measures their business in nine critical areas around their finance, operations, people, patients, innovation, partners, IT systems, mobility and automation. And once they've actually done that, they can really understand some great opportunities in their business. And your podcast, for instance, are, you know, you cover some interesting um, you know, different areas of new technology and pharm and its application to pharmacy. I mean, yep. What are some examples of some of the um, articles you've run? Yeah, look, so it can even go from current day things to even all the way through to 2050. I had uh, a business futurist on a few weeks ago, Morris Mizalowski. We spoke about the changing role of a pharmacist and what that might look like by 2050. And it's really about moving away from the transaction economy to the wisdom economy, which is where we personalise the advice for every patient. So from your own practice, how, how, what have you learnt from it that you've been able to implement? Well, in, term, in terms of, it just really depends on the individual business challenges. Look, one of the examples is one I always focus on is particularly about becoming operationally efficient. You know, there can be a great study that I did three, four years ago in my father's pharmacy is to be able to make his financial documents and his systems a lot more efficient by changing the way you interact with his accountant, his bookkeeper, his financial documents, and really make some great cash flow savings in the process. You know, ultimately, it's got to be able to go back into the business, and um, you know, unfortunately, in that case, it didn't quite work that way. But so, I suppose it is a case where you, you know, you, you need to be aware of these new technologies or you know things that are out there to help, but just need to apply what can be used in your own pharmacy. Oh, look, absolutely, and you know, the aim of it obviously is is to become operationally efficient, leverage cash flow, and then so long as you're not laden with too much debt, that you're actually mm -hmm. able to enable a greater patient experience in the process. Okay. Um, cloud technology, Yeah. what's the application to pharmacy or how is it useful? Yeah, look, I guess it can range from anything, from having your email to be able to interact with your team. If you run multiple sites, you can actually utilise non-urgent instant messaging. Cloud accounting is a clear one. Uh, you can change your whole relationship with your accountant by leveraging the power of the cloud where they can provide advice to you on an almost an everyday basis. And you're really driving your business looking forward rather than looking backwards. And um, you know, I suppose part of the problem people have, and this is where I think your information comes in really useful, I mean, I think a lot of pharmacists are out there looking for information, yeah. but there's so many sources of it, it's, it's a bit hard to sort of search through the, uh, the wood for the trees. Yeah. I mean, what, what would you sort of, you know, say to people who are looking for information, where should they go and what should they be looking for? Well, I guess it always starts, and that's the way Google is, it's what, what are you looking for? And um, you can find a mountain of information, but it's really about trying to find information that allows you to understand how it's going to work in your business. So whenever I have a conversation with a pharmacy owner about the technology, I'll step back a little bit further to say, well, what are you trying to achieve? And the technology can help you fulfill that vision in a lot more accelerated time. So. For example, my podcast, we aim to deliver an educational and hopefully an entertaining um, 45 minutes every week to be able to show what's possible and really show that it's never been a better time to actually access that and implement it in your business. So if a pharmacist, uh, say, rings you up or emails you or, or gets in contact through social media or yeah. whichever platform they use, you know, what, what, how does that process work? They get in touch with you to seek information. What do you do then? Well, I always direct them to the Pharmacy Freedom Index because it's just a great process to really unpack your business in those nine critical areas. Once they've done that, they generally come to me and say, look, I didn't realise I performed so, so poorly in this area. Can we have a chat about it? And that's where we'll sit down for 90 minutes, 
dig deep into it, prioritise what they want to get done, really make sure it boosts their cash flow, gets them closer to their patients and makes everything scalable. Right. And you've also collected some of the information in your uh, book that came out last year, didn't it? Yeah. Entitled uh, Transformation. Yeah. There we are. So, yeah. How's the book uh, going? Oh, look, really good. Look, I wrote the book because it's got my 16 years of experience working across community, hospital, and international practice settings. And what I found is that there are a number of problems in implementing technology in the pharmacy. And there's a lot of pitfalls, a lot of problems, often relating to not having enough education about the product, not really linking it to your processes and your business, and really using the wrong partners. And the partners can often you know, be box sellers and you know, you might actually just drop a box down, walk off and it leaves the pharmacy owner in turmoil. So it's really about selecting the right ones to help plan, implement, train and maintain, but also optimise it over the period of time too. Okay. What do you think? Do pharmacists understand technology well on the whole, do you think? Oh look, pharmacists, look, I had a great chat with uh, Peter Ferros in uh, I think it was episode 31 of my show and he was talking about how in the late 80s we boosted productivity in pharmacies so much better than any other industry and we were the first really ones to get computerised. But we have slowed down and I think, you know, our infrastructure through ERX, e-health records and so forth, we're all positioned to adopt it. But I just think there are so many other aspects within the business that we can benefit from and certainly bring us closer and create more remarkable experiences with our patients. And what would be a, the one tip, I know this is a very broad question, but what would be your one tip for people looking for a bit more, you know, to, to implement technology more in their pharmacy and enhance their business? Think, think bigger and look at the big picture of what you want to create for your pharmacy because if you're looking at the vision, there's never been a better time to be able to create that vision and the technology really just helps you get there in a quicker amount of time. And uh, so if people are interested in accessing your podcasts or yeah. getting your book, um, where do they go? Really easy, uh, transformationshow.com.au um, or they can go to my site in particular, robertstar.com um, or transformationbook.com.au. Thanks, Rob. And we'll be back with more from APP 2015 from Pharmacy News.